Marcus Tullius Cicero was one of the greatest orators and politicians of the Roman Republic and we know a lot about him because a number of his writings have been preserved, quite unusual for a figure from that period. And because he was active as a politician and a writer, what we have from him are both speeches that he gave in political con controversies and in law courts, but also writings about philosophical topics, theoretical treatises on rhetoric and oratory, but also a large number of letters that he wrote to his friends and family, which tells us also a bit about Cicero the man. And out of all this information, we know that he was a man who was born in Alpinum, a small town in Italy, from wealthy and quite well-established parents, but parents who had never reached senior political offices in Rome. Therefore, Cicero was called what the Romans thought of as a new man, someone who was new to senior politics in Rome, which gave him throughout his life both a little bit of an inferiority complex and the drive to achieve the highest uh, roles in the Roman state. And he did. So over the course of his career, he managed to become consul in Rome in the year 63 BC. And that was sort of the height of his achievement, that he got this position of a senior statesman. And he was quite proud of it and very successful, although at the end of this year he had to fight the Catilinarian conspiracy. And what he did didn't meet with universal agreement, so afterwards he even had to go into exile for a short while. But then he came back and resumed his life as a politician and writer and did so until the very end when he died as a result of the struggle with Mark Antony in the transition between the Roman Republic and the Principate.